So one of my all-time favorite things to do every single year is to see the Dolly Rots when they come to San Francisco, and this year is no exception. However, we have a little <laughs> bit of a plot twist, because if you saw the show, you know that Kelly wasn't exactly running laps. What happened? You guys started your tour. Take me back to the beginning. How many you started your tour where? In Seattle. Okay. Uh, Seattle, Portland. Amazing. Mm -hmm. We hit Eugene. We haven't been there in a really, really long time. Second song of the set. First chorus, I think. I tripped, which is not unusual for anyone who knows me. I'm a very clumsy human. Um, but I was playing the song on my bass and... I fell and I was like, I'll just fall on my knee. Like, that'd be fine. Sure. But I fell on my knee onto a big stage input box, which has very, like a one inch ridge on both sides. And that ridge went straight into my knee. Oh. Yes. Like it was like a knife. Like it, like, was, cut, like a it knife. was like, it was like cutting into like a piece of like steak, basically. Yeah. And the good, but the so good I start thing laughing. Is, Thanks, Louis. Yeah, well, That's uh, the, very. <laughs> well, she didn't stop playing at that no, point. No, I didn't either, stop though. the song. No. Oh, no. no Rock and roll. No. Nope. Yeah, wow. Um, I think you were in shock. I was definitely, I was of, definitely in some shock. Some form of shock. More than anything, I was embarrassed. Mm. And yeah. when I get embarrassed, like, there's no worse feeling, not even pain, than mm. embarrassment for me. Like, mortified. Like, yeah, because I was also wearing a skirt, and I don't know how I fell, but it could not have been graceful, and it was in the wrong direction. So then we didn't know how bad it was. We just figured it was like a cut. Yeah, I just Maybe like, she'll keep playing, whatever. I stopped playing bass, but then I went to the microphone, sang the rest of the song, and then I like bent down, and I like kind of went like this, like, what is, what's happening? And I was like, I'm not going to look yet. And I was like, ooh. I don't think my kneecap's there. Like, something is wrong. Oh. So then I start going like this with my leg on stage. I was like, oh, it feels fine. Like, I think it's fine. It's not yeah, my kneecap. Yeah, she got up to play again. And, and then, then no, no. I looked down and I was like, oh, no. So it's then she blood. starts asking if there's like an EMT or, yeah, like, you know, like, it doesn't help matter. Yeah, any... nurse, anybody, like, help me out. So nothing. Wow. finally, a dude runs out from the back with the medical kit and it was like an ex-Marine guy. He's oh. like yeah. a Marine. He's a Marine. So he's, he's like, I can, I can do this. You know, so he comes up and he starts tending to her, but we didn't want to stop the show because at I that point- I wasn't sure just how bad it like, was yet. I need some gauze, I need some saline, and then I need some ice, and then I will go get it stitched up, deal? Well, you're gonna be fine. Tell yes. Me. Okay. Perfect. You're even wearing a dolly. All right. Shirt. Well, can somebody film this? Cause this is great. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Make sure. Uh, I can't look at it, guys, or I'm gonna pass out. <laughs> We're also kind of feeling bad. Like we don't want to end the show. And it was only you know? the second <laughs> song. Yeah. I mean, and they yeah, were so sure, stoked sure. to be there because we haven't been there in forever. You know, there's yeah. some cities that bad. we only yeah. get to go to every now and then. And so she played two more songs sitting on a stool. Yeah. But by the end of the second song, our Marine dude friend was like, He's you like, gotta you go, gotta to the go now. Wow. So um, they apparently they closed down the emergency room in Eugene, so we had to go a town over. It was like a half hour drive to go. But wow. fans took us. Like, yeah. Oh, like really? Fans, yeah, it was like, great. Like, okay. Because Nick and Simon, well, I was like, listen, folks, if I can be back here in time, I will be back. It's like, what right. time does the bar close? I was like, okay, <laughs> mission. Mission, let's go. Yeah, but we didn't get out of there until like three thirty. Yeah. Anyway, the point is, like, the next night was Sacramento. Mm -hmm. That's a long Last drive. Night. Sure. Right. And um, like eight hour drive. Uh. So we got out of there at three thirty, drove to Sacramento, loaded in, played the show, the whole show. She nice. played I played the whole, the whole show. show. I didn't skip any songs. Yeah. So how did you describe it though? I asked you if you were hobbling or sitting down, and you said that uh, you. I had. To, I have to, as I will tonight. I have to assume a. A Ramones stance, and I cannot move the lower half of my body. <laughs> and it's still, it hurts so bad. Kind of yeah. like the Ramones. Yeah. I mean, it's not. You're it's just, fine. You're just holding your ground. Yeah. Like, it's okay. You know, I'm well, the one that gets to move, move around. I'm trying to make up for her lack of. Yeah, I try not. I was like, all right, I'm going to well, mention Pressure's it on not to destroy any part of your body during the show. Oh, no, no, no. I'm, no, let's not even oh conjure God. that. <laughs> <laughs> we have just more shows it. on the tour. Mm -hmm. um, in general, it's been really awesome, you know, because like we have to put out something new before we go out on the road. So we put yeah, out sure. the single like sure. a couple weeks well, ago. And, I did tell like, Dennis the story, but you should probably tell everybody how the, what? the song happened. Oh, okay. So, so the tour right. is named. So it's the Wrapped in Sunshine right. tour, right? Yeah. Due to the fact we just put out a, put out a single called Wrapped in Sunshine. Wrapped in Sunshine. Right. But the However, thing is, normally a band writes a song, records a song. Takes a picture Takes a picture relative to the song and then names the tour after the song. Instead, <laughs> we took a picture that depicts 
the concept of the tour. Then we had to name the tour, and then we had this promo picture lying around, and I was like, oh, we should like name the tour after the picture. But then once we named the tour, it was like, oh, well, we need oh, a single. Oh, now we need the song. And so, <laughs> so it was like, just... well, let's write the song based on the name of the tour based on the picture. So you're so, like, we need to write a song called Wrapped in Sunshine. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then it, All right. And then it happened. And so it did. It's, like, yeah. it's a banging song. Yeah. It's yeah. great. Thank you. It's great. Yeah. And congratulations again on your last album. You know, I was here a year ago. You know I'm a fan. It was a phenomenal album. And you guys toured a lot yeah. on that and released yeah. videos and everything for yeah. every song. It yeah. was so fun to see. It, it almost feels weird to put out something new now. Yeah, it seems a little premature. normally... Mm -hmm we'd still be working the last release, which sure. we are, yeah. you know? Yeah. But I feel like at the, in this time and place, like people are so used to stuff coming out like continuously. Isn't that weird like, and a little exhausting too? Yes it's, and yes. It's exhausting. <laughs> well, on the one hand, it's a little weird because you're like, oh, like an album deserves at least a year. Yeah, right? at least. You would think. But, sure. But on the other hand, it's like, oh, so we can just continuously create and that's mm. okay. Mm -hmm. You know, normally mm -hmm. you have to like hold stuff. Well, a lot back. of people just put out EPs now, but and there's no yeah. rules anymore. We're gonna yeah. put out an album. You know, and the thing anyway. is, a lot of artists they put out the singles, and then when they get to oh, I have this many singles, that's the EP. Yeah, which yeah. is weird for me being old school because I'm like, oh, I want to take a listen to. Oh, I've heard all these. Yeah. Well, but also you know? when when it's done that way, it's not a cohesive. Mm. You know, that's right. Peace. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. it doesn't it's a bunch come, of singles. It doesn't right. come yeah. from the I same. I mean, which is how a lot of records did happen. Well, yeah. but, but that's yeah. really not an album. That's like a mm -hmm. B sides collection or an A sides collection. Well, you know, well, I'm glad not, you said that actually, because like, I think of the same. I think of that the same way too. Yeah. yeah. I think what you guys do conceptually is so much more. Like the Night Owls was so. Um, there were so many themes running through that. Yeah. You um, were one of the first people to hear it too. I, I <laughs> yeah, was. We did. We yeah, said it. And I was like, help and us I, with sequence and things. <laughs> and I dug it because you guys did with that a lot of, I mean, to be to be honest, a lot of artists now, a lot of the artists that we deal with, um, you know, and that we just see commercially, they'll just put out songs. Yeah. But like to see like some sort of a through line yeah. and themes that repeat, I was like, right on. I totally got what you were doing. Yeah. I was like, well, I think yeah. like you, yeah, you yeah, come yeah. at it from your perspective in life at that point. Right. right, and it's supposed to encapsulate like your perception of how you view th stuff, sure. right? Like, I mean, you're, all you are, you're just you're expressing, yeah. right? Yeah, and yeah. so, so that's why it's. But it's cool to hear like a long form version of that expression mm -hmm. versus just like, oh, just like uh, you know, I wrote a single with a songwriter. And I appreciate that because <laughs> yeah, I'm old so. school, so I'll put on the vinyl on side one, and I'll go through both sides, and it's like watching a movie. Yeah, sequencing you know, is super important. That's right. Absolutely. Yeah. And when it's yeah. done right, you're like, that was a full experience. Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, get, cool. it gets really deep, too, because you're like, all right, how is the A side going to end mm. and the B mm -hmm. side begin? Mm -hmm. So, like, that, that, that transition between track mm -hmm. five or six to six right. or seven is also super important. Like, yeah. How do you start b side B? And it's is, interesting math because the people who listen to it on vinyl are going to have a different experience with yeah. that flip. Well, but also you can yeah. only have like 22 to 24 right. minutes max on vinyl. So then you're yeah. doing, I mean, it's like a crazy, like, yeah. it's a crazy. And then the key of each song and the BPMs. Yeah. And yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, keys I read that uh, Bruce Springsteen, actually, I don't know if he still does it, but I know that for the longest time he would plan on, he'd open with a certain kind of song and close with a certain vibe yeah uh you know at the end of and and it was like the page turner yeah it was the story yeah. that would make you flip it over yeah. because emotionally you were in i was like it's, wow yeah yeah like, yeah, yeah. We, we we like we're, we're familiar with that concept too because you know we're on stevie's label and obviously stevie and springsteen sure. are like best friends and he gave us a sequence too. Mm -hmm. And, and mm -hmm. what's funny was your you, sequence you and, and his sequence like, oh, okay. were like eighty yeah. percent. I'll take that. Like, no, <laughs> I mean, it's, but it was the correct sequence, pretty much. You know, yeah. ish. Yeah, yeah. So. Well, I mean, it was an honor to hear it, and I, you know, can't wait to hear what else you've got. I know. Yeah. So what's yeah. next? Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we're gonna we're gonna ride this single for a little yeah. while, at least until the end of the summer, and mm -hmm. then we're gonna see like kind of what happens with the end of the year mm -hmm. it's the 20th anniversary of our first record so eat my heart out is turning nice. 20 yeah. nice so 
there might be a reissue like in the Excellent. works, and so we have toyed gonna... with the idea of doing a tour where we play that song yeah. or the, mm-hmm. that album. Yeah, like but we might just front do like, yeah. we yeah. might That's just cool. do a couple like one off shows or something like yeah. that, just mm-hmm. as like a like here it is. I feel like we yeah. need to do it in the Bay Area since it was on Panic Button, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. totally. It's like yeah. a it Lookout like... Records release, the yeah. last one. It was really. one of the very last, yeah, because yeah. Lookout bought Panic Button and then Panic Button put that record out mm. and so mm. because lookout was always our it was our dream was our label dream because label, you know like growing, growing up, up in florida yeah. and whatever um so so yeah it it, it kind I of i remember that we played a lot of they, they did a lot of uh they had a lot of punk yeah i was cleaning stuff one time actually and and right um right about the time the show went off the other first time which was 2008 and i was just a bag of tapes and i was yeah. just you know and i was like yeah. pulled out and was like Dolly Rots. Wow. Like, holy crap. <laughs> yeah. Way back. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, a yeah. Long but time we played ago. you back yeah. then, you know, cool. as we were going Thank off. You. And, and so, Appreciate that. yeah, I mean, it was such a good time and such a good vibe. And I like that it's coming back. I like that these, the cycles of like, we don't have to wait 30 years anymore to be in nostalgia. Yeah. It's like there's a pop punk thing. Yeah. Kind of popping off yeah, right now. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty it's major. So funny. Uh, yeah. And it, it, it does seem a little weird to be like, oh, 2004 was 20 years ago. It doesn't feel that way. Because, no, the 80s were you know, 20 years ago. When I was growing I up, yeah, my God. back in my day, 20 years ago was like, it almost felt like the 60s or something, you know? Like, it yeah. was. So, but, but yeah, it's, it's cool to have like heritage and to be part of like that, that thing. Sure. Like it, it just, it makes us feel like we're part of something bigger. Your legacy, you, know? you are. You are yeah. your lifers. You know, yeah, yeah we're That's in for cool. it. We're in for it, whether we like it or not. Pop punk <laughs> legends is how I described you on Soundwaves <laughs> FM. Let's go with that. I like it. How nice, did, nice. What did Field say? He said you're seminal. I like. I was like, uh, seminal, seminal, seminal. <laughs> <laughs>